Hello friends, uh, welcome to freepush.com and this is my new project hospital management system. Normally uh, I have given the title that Medi next Medicare because I have developed this project for a student and the title was Medi next Medicare that's why but you can change the title according to your need that you can make it hospital management system or you can make it hospital appointment system or anything what you need okay that is the only the text that is not an image so you can text uh, change it uh, easily from the file okay so let's start with the uh, technology stack so i have developed this project in php and mysql and uh, i have used the php version 7 and uh, mysql version 5.6 and for front end development i have used the bootstrap theme so the main advantage of this project and the uh, main uh, functionality of this project is uh, of this project is I have integrated two, two of the bootstrap theme in this project. The first is for the front end panel and the second is for the admin panel. And there are four types of user in this project, four types, okay. And the first type is the patient, the second type is the doctor, the third part is the uh, hospital and the fourth part is the admin. So admin is the super user, hospital is the user below the admin, the doctor is the, below, the third level of user and the patient is the minimal uh, functionality user. Okay, and each and every user has their own dashboards, right? So this is the main feature of this project. So uh, for uh, front end part, I have used the bootstrap theme to the two, two of the bootstrap theme. The front end is also the bootstrap and the back end is also a bootstrap. Okay, and both themes are totally different. And I have used jQuery libraries. I have used the boot, uh, some of the uh, jQuery plugins and the uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So this is all about the technology stack of the project. So let's start with the project functionality go through. So this is the home page of the project. You can see this is really a very nice home page, and you can change the image. You can change the text from the uh, text uh, from the quotes directly. Okay. So this is the about us page, and uh, you can change the text here also from the uh, code. And this is a doctor's so this is the totally dynamic page and the content of this page is coming from the database directly so if you add more doctors then that doctor will come here also so this is the doctor page and this is the contact us page you yeah you can see this contact us page is really very awesome because the pop-up is showing the map as well as uh, the contact details so you can change the contact details here so this is the user login page so there are I, as i have told earlier there are four types of login here in the page the doctor login patient login admin login and the hospital login so then i will go through one by one okay and this is the sign up page from where a doctor can sign up and a patient can sign up okay so let's start with the functionality go through of the login page so this is the doctor login and uh, this is the pop-up and if you enter the doctor details sorry uh, let's go with the patient login first so this is a patient login and i am logging as a patient and this and this is the patient dashboard you can see if i log in with the admin uh, doctor dashboard doctor then the dashboard will be different but in the case of patient the dashboard will be different so this is the my account section from where patient will go on this section directly from here also right so this is the book appointment so if i want to book an appointment then what i will do that i will choose the doctor from the drop down and the date and the time slot and the fees what i am paying is the 1000 for now and this is the contact number and address and description suffer from fever suffer from cold and once i click on the book appointment then it's asking for the credit card details so don't worry this is a very uh this is not a real payment gateway this is a sample payment gateway and none of the real transaction will be done so what's my name is a kashuf and this one is the credit card number and this and the expired and face what i am going to pay is the 1000 rupees and the make payment so once i make the payment then i will get the payment details and the currently the status is pending but it will be confirmed only by the admin right so this is the appointment things so where patient can book the appointments from the doctor and this is the book appointment and then the appointment history so this is the appointment history 
which I have made uh, in past. So if I click on the view appointment, then I will be able to see the appointment details here, right? And this is the test history. So this is the test history, all of the test history which has uh, been done by the patient. So patient can see his test history and if uh, he clicks on the view details, then all the details will come here. And after that, this is the medicine purchase. Then what the medicine the patient the patient has purchased from the hospital, then all the details are here. Then and also uh, admin can see the detail. Sorry, the patient can see the details of the medicine here also. So this is the doctor prescription. So on the each and every visit, patient get the prescriptions. Then this is the prescriptions details. And once uh, patient clicks on the prescriptions, then uh, patient will be able to see the prescription details. So this is all about the patient. So what the patient can do? Patient can book the appointment and make the payment. Patient can uh, check the appointment history. Patient can check the test history and details, medicine history and details, and doctor prescriptions. So this is all about the patient. And this is the logout functionality. Now I am going with the doctor details. So this is the doctor login. and so this is oh the dashboard has been changed because i have already told you this is a four types of user login and this is the third the second dashboard uh, and what the doctor can see doctor can see the my account section where doctor can be uh, able to update his detail and once he clicks on the my appointments then doctor will be able to see all of the appointment details and once he click on the view then what the doctor can do doctor can add the prescription for this patient doctor can see the prescriptions history of that patient doctor can see the view test histories and medicine history so in add prescriptions the appointment id is two and the date and if i uh anything add it here then it will be saved in the database right so uh so again uh i am once i am going on the my appointment section and view section then view prescription history then this is all about the prescription history and after that the test history and also i am will be able to see the prescription details here right and again this is the test history so this is the test history details and again this is the view medicine history then this is the mu medicine history details so what the doctor can do the doctor can see his all appointments doctor can add the prescriptions for that appointment doctor can see the prescription history test histories and medicine history as well as the details of each and every section so this is all about the doctor section which i had developed in this project again i am going to log in as a hospital then uh, there is a add uh, hospital login so this is a hospital login and you can see this is the second uh bootstrap thing which i was talking about earlier and i am logging with the admin sorry hospital so this is a hospital and test so this is the hospital dashboard then what the hospital can do hospital can see the doctor's management screens also from here uh, hospital can add the appointments and hospital hospital can see the appointment details right and you can see this is the appointment details and this is the add doctor details from where the hospital can add the doctors or add his only doctors right or uh, doc if hospital a is adding the doctor then hospital b will not be able to see the doctor so this is the main advantage of this project okay so this is the doctor details and you can see the uh this is uh, the details of the doctor uh which can be edited by the hospital and this is the logout section this is the all about the hospital section now i am going on the admin panel so this is the super admin so this is the admin login and i am logging as admin and this is really a very 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 big section of this project and what the admin can do admin can appointment management time slot management doctor fees management doctor schedule management test management patient test management patient medicine management, prescriptions management, patient management, and the user management, the log reports, and log out. This all functionality will be done by the admin. So admin can add the appointment for any of the patients. Admin can see the appointment reports of any of the patient. Also, admin can delete the uh, 
sorry i think uh, delete the uh, uh, delete any of the appointments doctor uh, admin can add the time slots admin can see the time slot reports admin can add the fees of the doctor also see the fees report and this is the edit screen and admin can add the schedules of the doctors and this is the schedule report so this is all about the schedule the admin can add the tests that what type of tests are there admin can see the test reports right these are the test reports and the test durations you if you can see this is the details and patient test patient test means what the test has been taken by the patient then this is the patient test details and the patient test reports this is the patient medicine so where admin can add the medicine for the patients and the medicine report this is the prescriptions so all the prescriptions uh, has been taken by the admin uh, the patients and this is the prescriptions details and if you click on the, this then you will be see the details of the patient admin can add the patient so this is the patient ad form admin can see the patient reports right also admin can edit and update the details of the patient and this is all the all of the reports so this is the re appointment reports this is the time slot reports this is the fees reports this is the so this all our reports are here and the, this is the finance section appointment payments so how many payments has been done and this is the fees payments then what are the fees and then medicine payments so these all are the medicine payments and this is the user so admin can add the doctors any number of doctors and then this is the user reports so these are the doctor reports and then my account section and the logout so this is all about the admin and as you can see that there are four types of admin login and sure this is uh, i am not saying this is a very big project but sure if you need more functionality in this then i will implement it okay and if you need to enhance this project and if you uh, want to learn from this project then you can get the source code you can buy the source code from the link below the video and don't forget to subscribe our channel freeposition.com for getting the latest video updates on the latest position technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much